Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday, 28 July. Looking at this gold chart here. Mercy, mercy. Go get your candlestick books. That's indecision after a big, big, powerful up move. Um, price is now below 1926. This is the gold futures, by the way. Uh, spell turn. We all know how long everybody is on gold. We talked about it yesterday about how the chatter on Twitter about getting long gold in the 1950s and the 1960s um, it was just too much, right? Too many people were saying the same thing, so that's never going to work. Uh, so here we are, 1937. No dog in this fight, but be watching this 1926 level. Um, just as an indication on what the dollar is going to do. Obviously, dollar yen feeds off of this. Uh, dollar selling and dollar buying in general is driven uh, by the gold price. So let's keep an eye on this. Uh, but uh, man, we shall see. We shall see how this how this ends. Dollar yen not as uh, not as sexy of a bar. Euro dollar also unsexy bar. Um, looking for a rangy day today, and most of the G7 stuff. We got FOMC tomorrow, uh, so there's no reason anything is gonna like. Uh, boot off today and, and go go crazy um, you know and even so the FOMC you know they're not really expected to do too much they're not going to change rates obviously um, we'll just have to see what Powell says about what his plans are and, and whether he's going to give us an indication whether when he's going to finish uh, growing the balance sheet and we'll talk about that more tomorrow. Um, as far as today is concerned, let's just look at the uh, look at the calendar real quick. I don't think there's much out here today. No, literally nothing. CBI in UK. No releases today. Rangy, looking for something very, very rangy. Um, what do you do with Euro at 117.32? Not too much, you know. Your the highs yesterday are are 117.33. The highs yesterday were 117.86. Now we're kind of just in the upper third of that bar. Doesn't really get serious until you get below 116.44. Don't think we're gonna see that. Uh, it's a quiet, rangy day. Dollar Swiss had some funny price action yesterday. There were a lot of people saying that uh, the U.S. was going to call out Switzerland as a currency manipulator. Um, traded up to 92.29 after many, many red days. We were short Dollar Swiss for such a long time, and then we kind of traded ourselves out of it in that sort of 95 area. Kind of annoyed with that. Um, as is often the case, the waterfall happens towards the end of the move, not at the beginning. Something to keep in mind. I keep reminding myself of these things after after 30 years of this. Still have to keep reminding myself how this how this monkey monkey machine works. Anyway, kind of turny, exhausted type bar we'll have to see what what happens up at uh, 9230 this will also be related to gold um, we'll see dollar yen more like a euro bar not much going on uh, is this going to get over 10612 I doubt it but it's just a sell uh, this thing is a sell you know your stop has to be above 10660 which is hard if you're not already short if you haven't been short um, but be patient. <clears throat> you might get a chance to sell on the 106 handle. 
or you might get a chance to sell high 105 90s today uh, I'd recommend doing that dollars are now triple bottom 1635 dollar max broke yesterday it's a bit a bit twitchy around 15 but it did eventually break and um, you know went to percent right went down to 90 uh, so it's worth watching this dollars are to see if dollars are does the same if we get some heavy risk on flows uh, do you wanna play with dollars are down there uh, 1635 uh, based on the economy and I don't have to get into it. Obviously, it's hard to it's hard to own Czar for more than five minutes. Uh, but five minutes can make you some money uh, if this does break down and if there is some flows that push it. Uh, point is, just watch price around 16.35. Aussie popped up to the highs there, um, 83 last week. Yesterday, uh, 77. I mean, 77 last night. But <clears throat> kind of fell down here. Is this going to be a double top? Is this finally going to turn? I don't know. You're all huzzy. We actually squared our longs yesterday. Went up to 95, 164.95. This might have some more legs uh, when, if, or, and when stocks turn. Uh, but it looked like stocks were going to go bid, so we just squared this thing up. The real, real important point, Euro Aussie, is 165.82 now. Aussie end not doing much. Seventy cents is important in Kiwi yen. Half percent away. Got to just watch stocks for that. Dollar CAD printed down to 133.31. Remember this low is 133.15. Nothing to do in dollar CAD at 68. We've been over the gold chart. She looks like she wants to turn. We shall see. And now Bitcoin, bang, up through 11,000, all the way up to 11,400. This was, I don't know what do you call it. I mean, just kind of a breakout, right? 10,500 was the, was the bingo number. Um, long Bitcoin looks, looks very, very solid. Crude. No idea what's going on in crude. It looked like shit there for a while. Trading down at 40.50. Now we're at 41.50. No idea. We were short yesterday for a little bit. Snag some pennies, but not paying any bills with our crude trading, that's for sure. Um, just undecided, this crude, this whole area, this whole 41.42. It's really deciding what it wants to do. Uh, through 42.50, this will go a lot higher. Nobody has top side. So now I'm beginning to think that this is the side that's going to go. Uh, what to do with it now at 41.50? I don't know. It went up to all the way up to 41.93 uh, today already. Ridiculous. Uh, and finally, Euro Norway. Are we building a right shoulder here for this 10.75 level? Perhaps. Uh, let's go four hourly. Something to keep an eye on. And this is obviously more of a risk off trade. Uh, so if equities go lower, crude goes lower, maybe Euro Norway corrects higher a little bit. Um, but no real strong impulse to trade today. Uh, looks like it's going to be very summery. Just kind of watching some of these levels, see if we can nip in and out of something for some sort of little uh, poxy profit. Um, but. I guess the question today is, does the dollar turn? I don't think it is. Uh, it's probably give us a chance to buy currency against dollars or um, buy gold against dollars. If you can, try and buy Bitcoin uh, against dollars. 
because uh, this dollar lower theme I think is going to continue on into the fall uh, and I think we've got another five or six percent in this uh, on this road so maybe this is the time to reload um, heading into FOMC tomorrow anyway keeping it light here at the open that's for sure uh, good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow